Hello there and welcome in another tutorial. This time we're gonna continue to model model tank. In this part we're gonna try to make wheels. So let's get started. We have to remember this one is gonna be low poly so we're not gonna care too much about the details. Just to get the basic shape because later it's gonna be really everything replaced by texture I'm gonna start from the smallest one just we need to place it in the correct position then make the correct size As we're gonna move along, there's gonna be like kind of really, really easy, and we're gonna see the results like kind of really fast. So in the faces, like leave one free, so we're gonna have like kind of really nice gear over here, and just to extrude it. not too much, just a bit and then now we have to click this small box over here it's gonna allow us to like scale all of them and we have gear okay, really really fast and nice way yeah but that's not finished yet now we need a cylinder we have to move it in the correct position and resize it of course make sure the cylinder is in the central We're gonna come from this side, make it bigger, just get the size like it's correct, like exactly on the middle. As you can see, just a bit. Okay. The inside one is a bit different. We have to select two faces and leave two. So this is gonna give us a really nice geometry. Again, we have to click the box, scale it a bit, make this a bit bigger. Yeah, some kind of basic gear done. After this, we can bevel that, but we can just, in my opinion, we're supposed to leave it for the texture. We're not gonna make like really high poly because it's not gonna be really good for the uh, for the game or for any real time rendering. Now we're gonna make another cylinder. This is gonna be for the next wheel. We're gonna do here. Uh, we don't need those faces. Those ones as well. We have just this one, basic one. It's gonna go insert the edge, the edge loop. Then we're gonna make equal distance, two of them and over here 
Now what we need to do, we need to select all of those and just ex extrude them, put them inside. There. Now select all of those, extrude them, put them inside. Do it again. Do it again. Like you can see here, it's looking kind of like basic, basic shape. Now just need to push them a bit inside, just something like this, and extrude it again, and just basically close all of them. And now what we have to do, we have to go to the vertices. Um, select all of them, make sure you didn't select anything else, and just merge all of the vertices so it's gonna be from 20 to 1. Push it like this, to make like kind of plain shape. Scale it down a bit, yeah. This, this one has to be a bit bigger, we have to be five of them for entire lamp. Actually, this one is a bit too small. So this one we're gonna combine them. It's gonna be like a one. Center the pivot, so, and now we can resize it really easily. And now we have to get the sense of scale. So basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna put this one here, it's looking okay. And now we need five wheels. So duplicate. Now we have two. Now we have three. Now we have four. Now we have five. And actually there have to be one more here. So you can the spacing is kind of shorter. And here we can easily gonna have um, space for one more. Yeah. Don't worry about those wheels. They have taking up kind of a lot of faces, but. The, this one is like kind of one of the most visible parts of the tank, but here we can cut it down and we're gonna cut it down somewhere here later on. Okay, now we need to make one more, which is basically similar to this one, so we're gonna duplicate that. Focus on it, F on the keyboard, scale it down. Okay, and as okay, as we can see, um, we're gonna need this this part, but we, like kind of this part, but we don't need like interior of this. So we're gonna select all of this, select all of this, and delete that. We don't need it. Now what we can do? Take this this face, push it back. Um. We can put faces over here. Actually, we can do it because this one looks nicer. Because this one we don't really need, but this one is like kind of, you know, on the border. Select all the vertices. I mean, you have 60 when we're gonna connect. It's got 30. It doesn't connect. Um, I don't think it's going, yep, it's going too far a bit. Scale it down. Okay, 
then combine again. That would be Okay, we can select one by one. We can increase the snap, but I don't want to play with this right now. It doesn't want to do that somehow. So as we can see, uh, if we're gonna look at the image of the tank, usually this wheel is similar to this one, but it's not a gear. So what we're gonna do, now uh, we can separate those, send it to previous in both of them, and just duplicate this part, and put it over here. We're gonna make sure this was exactly in the middle, like exactly. We can have like few, few mini mistakes, but that's gonna be fine. And we have right now like all of them done. We can copy them on this side, but not now. After we're gonna make the the rest, we're just gonna duplicate the half, and it's gonna be fine. Okay, thanks. And uh, next time we're gonna finish the the wheels and the bottom part of the tank. Later we're just gonna add some details on this, on the front and on the back, and we're gonna cut down the faces to keep it really, really low point.